Hi, this is Dr. Nishal, and in this video, we're going to be talking about how to reduce tremors in patients with Parkinson's disease. Uh, so why do the tremors actually occur? Well, there's several factors behind it. Mainly in this condition, there's a reduction in dopamine levels, uh, and that's responsible for movement and several other things as well. And uh, there's neurodegeneration, which is basically the, the brain itself is uh, degenerating. And uh, this is kind of where the problem stems from. There, it's not the root of the problem. The root is actually at a cellular level. Uh, issues with the clearing out of cellular waste. We call that autophagy. Now this phrase autophagy is getting really popular these days for things like weight loss and stuff. But uh, this, and so people think it's a scam actually. It was actually a process that takes place with every cell throughout the body. Uh, it's the clearing out of cellular waste. So you've probably heard of Lewy bodies, right? Those little clumps of protein in the brains of patients with Parkinson's disease. Well, where do they come from? That is cellular waste that hasn't been cleared out due to dysregulations uh, with the cellular process. And also the mitochondria are not functioning very well in, in these people's neurons. As a result, uh, the brain cell doesn't have enough energy and they die much earlier than they should. Uh, they die much faster than they regenerate. As a result, there's neurodegeneration. So that's basically to do with the pathogenesis of the condition, not necessarily the specifics behind tremors. But um, what actually helps for the tremors? Uh, apart from L-DOPA, uh, at which, by the way, there's a natural alternative which is more effective if used correctly, not just buying a supplement and taking it. No, there's a specific way to use it. Uh, but what works for the tremors of what's actually been through clinical studies uh, is an amino acid known as methionine. Now, methionine is responsible for various functions in the body. Uh, one of which is, uh, it's a growth promoting amino acid. It actually works for angiogenesis, which is needed for the formation of new blood vessels. Um, now you've probably heard of angiogenesis if you are part of medical groups and, and things like that on Facebook or wherever. Uh, angiogenesis is usually a, a word that when people hear it, they, they kind of demonize it because it's associated uh, with issues related to patients who have cancer, but that's not the issue here. Uh, so it's not something for you to worry about unless you are a cancer patient. I would recommend uh, you avoiding uh, methionine if, if you are a cancer patient. But if you are not, uh, it's not something uh, for you to necessarily be concerned about. Obviously, that's why you need to use it under a doctor's supervision. Uh, so methionine actually reduces tremors in patients, and it's something you get from your diet anyways. It's an amino acid that's found in meat, and it's found in dairy, and it's found in some... Uh, it's also found in vegetarian sauces, and but it's more rich in, in meat. And uh, so yeah, methionine works very effectively. I'm going to post a link to the study in the description of this video. And again, please do this under doctor's supervision. As I said, it's some patients can take it, some patients cannot. Uh, it's not one size fits all in, in medicine, especially not in chronic diseases. It's, uh, it needs to be very specific and things need to be done in a safe manner because that is the responsible way to practice medicine. Uh, so uh, yeah, that was my take on uh, tremors uh, for patients with Parkinson's disease. I hope this information helped you. And uh, if you'd like to get in touch with me, you can do so through my website, drnishal.com. And I will see you in the next video.